Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today, we're going to be making an AR car, but it's going to stop for the player. Or if any uh, humanoid gets in front of the car, it will stop. So let's just get right into it. So first off, we're going to go back to the model from last videos. As you can see over here, this model. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have to make the, the car have more stopping points. So what we're going to do is take our car uh, but we're going to first ungroup this of course and we are going to go to the car go into the car we're going to go to the place part and we want to duplicate that or control D or make it replace take the second part let's rename that uh, stop player okay. and just move it to the front of the car and we will open this up, make this kind of big, because this part is. Ooh. We're gonna make this kind of big, because this is when the car is gonna detect that the player gets in front of the car. So, make that big, some something like that. That looks okay. So then after that, um, we have to duplicate. Let's duplicate it. And we're gonna name this uh, Go Player. Go Player. And I'm gonna make this a lot bigger than the other one. Like that. Like that. And now we're gonna go to our stop part. We wanna duplicate it. I'm gonna just move this one up, move it down. Because you have to make a hole in the go part. So we're gonna come over here, go to model, and we wanna make it negative. Then we're gonna uh, keep pressing control, and then we're gonna place on our go part, and we're gonna go click on union. So now, if I move this up, we have a hole in our uh, box. So now we're gonna name this uh, go player again. Go to a stop part. Now let's make this red, so we can actually tell that this is the stop part. Then this gray part is gonna be the go part. And now you actually have to build it. And in my last video uh, about AI cars, if you didn't see, I used a plugin plugin called Moon uh, Animator, which lets me use an easy weld tool so I can weld my stuff to my car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control. I'm going to highlight my body part, and then I'm going to highlight my stop and go part. And then, as you can see, the base part's going to be body. You have to make sure that the base part says body. Then the target part should say vary because we have two parts. And I'm going to click on join in place. Inside the body, you see we have two new welds. Get rid of that. And now we have our vehicle. But what we're going to need to do is click on our go part go and our stop part. We're going to go into other properties, scroll down until you see massless. We're going to highlight that so the car does not flip out because of the mass of a big object. So now, we got that out of the way and now let's talk to the scripting part so we're going to go back into our car script that we got you see all the scripts we want to go down down and we're just going to copy and paste the script it's a little bit long so this will be in the description I gotta remember all of this script that I'm going to be adding will be in the description this car model will also be in the description so let's, I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it in here. So let me just explain the script. So this is a touch event. So if uh, if anything touches the car, it's first going to check uh, H, which is the any humanoid that it finds. And it's going to, if that H hits the call, car, if that H hits the object, then the throttle of the car will equal zero. And then also print uh, player hit so we can see in the D log that that's what it shows and down here it's going to detect what we want the function to detect which part does it want it to hit does it want it to see what hits it which is going to be the stop uh, part or stop player so that's going to be stop player and then, then we're going to make another function that is going to do the same thing except the throttle is going to be equal one and this is for go part so we can have the go part. 
So now we have all of this information here. So now let's go into game and see how it works. Okay, so right now I have the car and I have an NPC here because this car should be able to work with an NPC. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit on the run button. And if you can see, the car turns, call the turn function, and then it hits the NPC player. And as you can see in the D-Log, it says the turn part, and then it goes on to, because the NPC hits the go part, and then it hits the player hit, which is the stop part. But, if I just come over here, and I take the NPC, and I just drag it out of the way, or I drag it right to the go part, then it, that happens. So then it goes, the car will go. So as you can see, it then just keeps going until it finds another... Uh, turn part which I have not I took away the go parts for that so now we have all this done so now what we can do is go into the car again and we don't want to we don't want to see this big blob we want to see our car so then we're gonna come over here we're gonna go to stop player and we're gonna go to the go player and then we're gonna go to transparency one and there you go and if you remember the last video this function we have over here uh, will be for stopping other cars. So if you want to check that that video out, uh, it's going to be on the screen right now. So go click on that if you haven't seen that yet, because I think it's a good tutorial for a traffic system. So instead of using an NPC, what we can do now, I'm actually going to go into game and test it out for myself, so I can show you that it actually works for players. I'm just going to spawn pad here, and I'm just going to run it with me in the game. So if the game loads. It's gonna hit me, it stops. And once I get out of the way, it keeps going. Just like that. So that's all for this video, everyone. Hopefully, you actually learned something new. Uh, hopefully, you like. If you have a question, please post it in the comments. Uh, and consider subscribing because I forgot to thank you, but thank you all so much for 30 subscribers. I, I, I can't believe I just done it get 30 subscribers with you all in just a few months so thank you so much and i hopefully I could get out some more tutorials soon uh so that's it bye